From the WineryChannel.tv, this is The Source. Here's winemaker Justin Smith of Saxon Vineyards, Paso Robles, California. Hi, welcome to Saxon Vineyards. Uh, I'm Justin Smith. Uh, my wife and I, Heather, are the uh, owners and uh, winemakers here. Uh, we are located in uh, Paso Robles, the, uh, the western side, um, in, in the central coast of uh, California. Uh, you can see uh, behind me the, uh, the fog rolling through the San Lucia Mountains. Um, that is uh, because of our proximity to the Pacific Ocean here. We're only about 10 miles off of uh, off the Pacific. And uh, in these mountains here, this, this dip that we have in it is called the Templeton Gap. And it's a, a low point in the San Lucias. And it allows the uh, cool Pacific Ocean uh, breezes and fog to come through and keep us moderated. So uh, we're, we're driving down uh, off the uh, top of our hill where the winery is uh, down to into the vineyard. Um, in the James Berry Vineyard. So this is where most of our fruit comes from, is our estate here at James Berry. Uh, we've got various blocks all, all around. Uh, it's about 55 acres planted. Uh, Saxon only keeps about uh, a quarter of that, and we sell a number, number of blocks to uh, other wineries, um, wineries such as uh, Copan, Carlisle, and Via Creek, and uh, um, a new one called Torin. And, uh, but but saxon has got the bulk of it, and uh, various plantings of Grenache, Syrah, and Morvedra. Um, we really like to mix it up with uh, different um, exposures um, on the hills. You know, since we have these rolling hills, um, a north slope will produce a very different wine than a south slope, one being away from the sun, one, one catching a lot of sun. It'll actually be six weeks of uh, uh, variation between picking one and picking the other. So uh, this is a, a block of uh, Grenache. This is uh, actually what we call our, our rocket block. It was our, our first block of Grenache that we planted here at James Berry Vineyard. And uh, it was planted in 95. Um, you can see, uh, see the vines here. They're um, what is called a, a, a lyre. So it's a divided canopy. We split them in two um, in order to get uh, the sun kind of coming through on both sides. And we've also gone through and uh, uh, thinned a lot of the fruit out. Grenache likes to set a pretty heavy crop, so what we usually do is go in and drop about half of it, uh, reduce uh, the amount of fruit, and uh, in turn, when you don't have as much fruit hanging, you, uh, you, you tend to get a wine that uh, has a little more depth to it. Um, you can also see, though, because of these, these soils, our, our berries are, are still quite small, even for a variety like Grenache, which tends to have a very, very large berry. So we have on our right here a block of Syrah. Um, you can see uh, this hasn't been thinned out yet. The crop, uh, the crop's still a little bit heavy. Um, we'll, we'll go in in a few days and, and drop about half of that load and uh, reduce it so, uh, so it gets a little more uh, concentration when it's, when it's ripe. Uh, but you can also see the kind of the difference between Syrah and Grenache here. Syrah is much more lanky and open growing and uh, uh, a little more kind of uh, vigorous in its growth, um, where Grenache is a little more compact and uh, um, you know, bigger clusters. You know, these Syrah clusters you can see here are fairly, fairly small and loose compared to those uh, larger Grenache clusters. So because uh, Saxum is, is so small, uh, limited in our production, um, it can be uh, relatively hard to, uh, to find. Uh, we do send a, a, a small amount out to uh, restaurants and, and retailers around the country. Um, but the best way to uh, find our wine is to uh, sign up online. Um, we have a, a mailing list. Um, you can sign up there and uh, send us your information. And uh, twice a year, we'll send you out uh, an order form um, with uh, the wines that we have available. And our, our website is uh, www.saxumvineyards.com. And uh, you can uh, contact us there, too, if you need to. Thanks for joining us here on The Source.